All right, today I just want to, uh, this going to be a short video to show you something that's just not immediately noticeable about OneNote uh, 2010, and that is collapsing your notes. Uh, it's just it's, uh, one of those neat things that the creators uh, put in. It just makes OneNote one of those pieces of software that I really like. If you'll notice, I got my game program and classroom notes or class notes open, and uh, as you see, I got quite a few notes I have to dig through. And uh, in order to keep things organized, what I've done, I've labeled like chapter two, and then everything about chapter two becomes a sub page. You can do that by right clicking, make a sub page. And that way, uh, when I want to collapse them, not only does it keep me organized on where things are, but when I want to collapse them, if you look as I hover over chapter two to the far right, we get a little arrow here. And that will allow me to collapse. And that keeps me from clicking on the wrong notes, putting the wrong note information in the wrong place, and accidentally moving a note someplace where it don't belong. Because it's, it's very, that's something that's very easy to do, as you just seen right there. But keeping them collapsed, except for the ones you're working on, uh, just keep, helps keep you organized. And, and I know uh, when I f first started with OneNote last semester, it just wasn't readily available to me. Uh, uh, I mean, I just didn't notice it. Matter of fact, I didn't figure it out to this semester. So I decided to make a short uh, video and uh, let you guys know about this. And hopefully this helps someone. And uh, have a good day.